Yeah, there it is. Lovers, the sex shop. There's so many guys. We're talking about pocket pussies when we wandered away. That was so disturbing. Dude, I can't wait to get home to fuck my pocket pussy. Oh, I'm gonna go to town on that thing. I'm like, bro, you could, you could go find a girl and, you know, try to start, you know, one night stand or relationship or something. You pocket pushy, dude? That's, that's what you run home to? I mean, I, I ran home to a motorcycle, but that's better than saying a pocket pussy. Jesus Christ. This video is going to be covering the top five things that I missed while I was underway, and just just to you know give a give a a four mention there. I don't know all the things that are gonna be on this list. I'm gonna make up at least two on the fly. There's three I know for sure, but that's neither here nor there. Um, when you go underway to submarine, you know the command doesn't give a shit. Uh, what you take as long as you don't smell bad and you got the right uniform and shit so like you get a checklist and it's just a checklist of here are the uniform items you need to bring bring 15 of these shirts bring 15 of these shirts bring enough socks and uh, blah, blah 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 you know bottles of shampoo and body wash and all that kind of shit and that's what the command gives you as a um, you know a little don't be a dumbass kind of thing and what, what else you take, because, you know, you take that stuff and that's what they have to kind of give you room for, quote unquote, quote unquote, have to, they don't really have to, uh, <laughs> but luckily I'm on a ballistic submarine, so we have a lot more room than on the fast attack submarines. I think we're like twice the size, if not bigger, than those little, little shits, those 688, 688Is and stuff. I think the Virginia is about the same size as us, though. Uh, the Seawolf's a little tiny bastard. But, uh, anyway, so you get to take, you know, books magazines, uh, laptops, stuff like that, mp3 players. And, you know, I went underway in my first patrol, obviously I was a nub, or a new submariner, which I do really have to explain. I'll explain that now. You know, this is kind of a weird video to explain that in. In the Navy, when you go to a ship or you go to a submarine or whatever command you go to, you you have qualifications for that, that vessel that you're on. So, like, that those carriers and, and destroyers and whatever else the fucking surface, I don't know what the hell the surface fleet has, honestly. Um, they have qualifications that says, boom, you're qualified that vessel. It'll be like, a, uh, they would call them warfare pins, so either you get like a, a surface air or some, some other jibba jabba like that. Now the difference here is, the, the reason why submariners bring it up so often, or submariners, whichever way you want to say it, is that we get forced to do our qualification, you know, when you're brand new. Like uh, me, I'm, I'm still E3. I don't, you know, I'm not shit in the Navy. I'm just an E3. So if you went to a surface boat and an E3 was working as hard as I am to finish my qualifications, you, you know, you'd be, you'd either be considered really shit hot, you know, you're fucking amazing, or you're a complete shit bag and you shouldn't be doing that. You should be focusing on other things. Because the surface fleet doesn't have to get those qualifications until they are E5s, which is a, a petty officer second class, which usually takes a few years to get to. At least, at least two years to get to that, minimum. And on the surface fleet, I mean the, the sub fleet, I'm going to have it before I'm E4. And I've only been at my command for maybe five, six months now, and I'm already going to, I'm going to get qualified pretty soon here. And it, the difference there is because our qualifications uh, require that we learn about the boat. So let's say I'm in the back of the engine. I'm not in, let's say I'm in the engine room for whatever reason because I'm a sonar tech. I'm not, you know, we don't congregate back there because we don't go back there. So let's say I'm in the engine room and something fucking explodes and there's fire and water coming in and this and that and shit. And you know, people are running around with their fucking like their heads are cut off and shit. Uh, the the reason we go through our qualification process is so I can look at whatever the hell that is that's on fire or, or burning oh, I had fire or burning no shit fire or, or water is coming from and I can jump on what we call a 4MC which is our emergency circuit to send out you know shits going down you know 
I could jump on there and give an alert to uh, you know the rest of the boat about exactly what it is that's that's you know happening where it is what it is and, and shit like that so that we know exactly how to stop it because you know if a fire burns for you know just a little bit too long in a submarine we might all die <laughs> you know no shit right if there's a hole in the submarine and water's coming in that's a bad day but yeah anyway that's qualifications anyway the reason i brought up my qualifications is because when you're a nub like i am uh, you generally you get told a lot not to bring anything underway. No personal shit at all. If you have time to read, you have time to be studying your walls and all this and that, and they don't want to be playing video games. As a matter of fact, you don't play any video games and you don't watch any kind of uh, movies or anything publicly so that, you know, the rest of the command can see you. You don't do that. It's it's kind of like spitting in the face of the command, I guess, when you do that. Or, or at least in the face of your shipmates who before you didn't do that, right? Which I did. I never did. You know, I never blatantly sat there and watched a movie. I mean, I, I watched a fucking movie, but I, I didn't like sit there with nothing in front of me and just stare at a fucking screen. Like they would tear your ass apart if you did that shit. So you get told not to take anything. So you you know when you go underway, even when you are qualified, you can't take everything you want. So you miss stuff. So anyway, hey, anyway, it's been like five minutes talking about this, if not more. <laughs> To the list. The list. All right, so number five. Number five is going to be a fucking easy one. That's the internet. I missed the shit out of the internet underway. And it's not so much the internet. Uh, two of these are going to kind of be related. Two of the numbers on the list. Uh, the internet's definitely one of them. Being able to internet's anything. You know, you really start to miss that really fast. And I'll explain with one th number. I guess it's going to probably be number three. Uh, what I mean by that. But you definitely miss the internet really quick. Now, to be creepy and perverted and whatnot, I don't miss internet porn. I miss the internet, not internet porn. And the reason I say that is because I shit you not, if you took all the hard drives that we all had underway, all of us combined, we have more interne internet porn on our hard drives than the internet actually has. We have shit the internet doesn't have. And uh, that's just, you know, a bunch of lonely dudes f underwater for fucking three months, if not longer than three months, you know? We're gonna have some porn. We're gonna have some happy time in our racks. Uh, but yeah, yeah, didn't miss internet porn, just missed the internet itself. All right, so number four. Number four is, uh, it's gonna be a weird one too. Well, I guess not weird, but uh, just normal shit. And what I mean by that is, like I'm stuck in traffic right now. <laughs> I miss it now, obviously. I mean, I don't miss it like right now because I'm in traffic and I want to be riding. But, it, little shit like this, the sun, you know, the sun, the fucking wind, hearing birds, a bird shitting on my car, you know, normal things. You, you start to miss that stuff, or at least I did. You know, when you don't see the sun for a certain amount of time, uh, what is it called? Seasonal affective disorder? Basically, uh, sad, you get sad, literally, you become depressed, it's like a disorder, you can Google it. And, and that, that that did start to hit me pretty hard later on in the patrol. Like, I started, like, waking up with some fucked up thoughts and, like, ah, oh, I don't even want to get up. Fuck this shit. And uh, it takes some getting used to. Especially when you get up to eat some old-ass food that's, like, it's three months old. I mean, they were serving salad three months in, and we didn't get any more fucking salad. Do the math there. <laughs> yeah, just, like, normal things. Traffic, driving around, like, in, the, in traffic and, and dealing with that and actually being able to see the sky and feel the wind and stuff like that it's it's really 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 something you take for granted but it, it's pretty it's pretty huge when it's not there anymore so yeah yeah number three number three number three is the tie-in to the internets it's gonna be my phone it's, it's my phone slash google you know how many times we've sitting there talking about weird shit or arguing about a movie or 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 anything like that in the motherfucker up oh I can't check oh, I don't have my phone I don't have the internet and everybody's I should you United sonar uh because I am a sonar tech no I think I've mentioned this in the last video anyway in sonar we would talk about weird shit like that or we would get in arguments about movies and like who's this actor and who's this actor and who was the major actor in this movie and all that shit and it's like oh, oh. And everybody pull out like a little notepad, like I'm gonna IMDB this when we get back, asshole. 
I'm gonna so prove you wrong in two months. <laughs> and, and it's kind of sad because we do. People ran home the first day and like Googled all this shit. Like, oh, I was right. Fuck you. <laughs> but, you know, that's just the nature of it. Uh, your phone, it takes, I think it took me a week to stop trying to check my damn phone. You know how you just reach your pocket like, oh, I wanna look at my phone. It took me about a week to get over that. And the same shit happened in boot camp. Cause when you go to boot camp, you don't have your phone. Well, you're not supposed to have your phone. Uh, pro tip, you can take your phone to boot camp and you can hide it in your AB drawer and as long as you don't actually leave your AB drawer open or unlocked, they can't go in that motherfucker. But, uh, that's between you and Jesus, alright? You didn't get that from me. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, googling shit on my phone and, and just being able to look at the phone. You know, sometimes, you know, forever alone, as I am, you know, you just kind of look at the phone for no reason. Like, ah, I have no reason to look at this. Ah, back in my pocket. <laughs> you know, that kind of shit. Uh, but yeah, number three, phone. That was three, right? Three. Number two! Number two is a big one. And I gotta... It, uh, this is, it's gonna sound creepy when I first say it, and then I'll explain it a little bit. I'm sure guys will understand. Well, I, I can't imagine too many women watch my videos. It might be two of you, right? Yeah, I believe two or three of you. Three. I'm gonna go with three. There's three of you that I know of that are female that watch my videos. <laughs> but, um... Females, in general, is number two. Just women. Um, remember, it's a crew of 160. There are no women on my crew. There are submarines that have women, yes. But mine's not one of them. Mine's not looking to be one of them. We got at least two years, at, at the very least, two to three years before any women are on our submarine. Longer than that, actually. So, when you, when you go around nothing but guys all day, there's, there's only so many ball jokes you can go through, man. And it's not even, like, joking and, and stuff like that. It's, um... Yeah, see? See, I'm trying not to be a fucking creeper on this one. It's like when, when somebody comes into your house and is like, Oh, you need a woman's touch. That, that kind of shit. Where you just kind of know women were involved. Not necessarily the women. I'm not saying, like, women. Like, I'm not being a man slut. But I, I do need a girlfriend. But that's not what I'm talking about directly is, is like, sex. I just mean women in general, their effect on the surrounding areas. Even like the smell of shitty perfume now and then would have been nice, but no, you get fucking amine, which you stop smelling after a while, then you just start smelling whoever the smelly bastard is on the submarine and you fucking beat his ass. See, and number two is definitely gonna be the lady folks. And number one. Like, if you don't know what number one is, you should probably throw your laptop out your fucking window. Just just turn off the computer and go go think for a while about what you've done with your life. If you don't know what number one is. The thing that I missed the most while underway. What could that have possibly been? Probably my motorcycle! Yeah! Fucking love this thing. This is, this is what I was thinking about the last month we were out. Like, oh shit, my bike. My bike, I'm gonna get my bike. I'm gonna get it. I hope it turns on. Motherfucker, yeah, the, pre the, the person I, I left my bike with to take care of it was a buddy's wife. And she didn't fucking start my bike for like the last month and a half or some shit. I was like, what the fuck, man? It's, it's not like I asked you to donate your leg or some shit to the cause or, or something like that. You know, I was like, fuck, just, just turn on my bike now and then. Let her warm up and then turn her back up. It's not so bad, right? It's easy to do. And, and then she wasn't even going to tell me she didn't turn it on. Like, we were getting the... My buddy took me to pick up the bike. And I, I went, went over to it. And he's like, ah, oh, is it going to turn on? And I look back at, at uh, my buddy's wife. And she's just kind of like on a blank stare and shrug. I'm like, oh, this motherfucker. <laughs> but luckily, Quinn started right up. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I think this video has gone long enough. Uh, if you guys have any questions, as always, about the Navy, about submarines, even about an FZ-6R, or anything, go ahead and... Holy shit, what was that? Fucking huge-ass bug landed on me. <laughs> go ahead and leave it in the comments, or uh, send me a message or something, and I will do the best I can to answer your question for you. Yeah!